Reaction continues to pour in after Virginia Beach schools voted not to adhere to Governor Youngkin's guidelines on transgender students. And we broke the last night's decision just as it came in on Wavy News 10 at 11. The policy from Richmond gives guidance to systems across the Commonwealth. It says that parents should dictate a student's preferred name and pronoun. Previous models allowed students to pick their own identity. Well, last night it was five votes for and five votes against, while board member Jennifer Franklin abstained. For example, if a student uh, wants to be called uh, Jay instead of John, or wants to be called Jay instead of Jane, that type of thing, um, there, there's a reason why they have not come out to their parents yet. And so we need to be able to find out if the student feels that they're at risk. This is common sense. Uh, we are very straightforwardly saying that first, parents are in charge of their children's lives. The kids don't belong to the state. They belong to parents and to families. Virginia Beach is the second largest district to decide not to follow the guidelines. Fairfax County in Northern Virginia voted not to implement the governor's policies.